As a franchise, Mobile Suit Gundam isn't only comprised of anime series and manga. We also have films and OVAs to take account of, the latter of the two having the most generally well-received entries. Today we'll be taking a magnifying glass to five of the best Gundam OVAs. Let's suit up. Like jazz? Like high intensity mobile suit combat? Or like your main character making fun of a man's prosthesis by calling him peg legs? If you answered yes to at least two of those questions, then you're definitely in for a treat with Gundam Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt packages sweet music into explosive and fluid action scenes that truly showcase the abilities of mobile suits. Beam weapons melt shields and people, and mobile suits zip through space beautifully. Eye candy aside, Thunderbolt's story is amazing and its depiction of both the Federation and Zeon as neither right nor wrong. The brutality of war also shows itself many times here. We also get a protagonist who isn't your traditional good guy slash hero in Yo. He's shown to be a very flawed guy, just like real people. If you're new to Gundam and are looking for your initiation series, this is it. Check it out. Stardust Memory is one of those anime that make you truly appreciate the time and effort that went into hand-drawing scenes. A far cry from what we have today, which isn't bad. The detail of animation is very noticeable and easy on the eyes. It's part of that 90s anime aesthetic that everyone so fondly envisions when they hear the word anime. 0083 has a great action-filled plotline with a semi-coherent love story if that's your thing. It follows Ko from when he's a nobody test pilot up to becoming the designated pilot for the Earth Federation's newest Gundam prototype. At its core, Stardust Memory is very much an underdog type of story. The intense rivalry between Ko and Anna Valgato is fabulous as well. The best part about this series is the way that it develops and sets the stage for Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. This series also heavily features Zeon ace pilot badass Anna Valgato, better known as the Nightmare of Solomon, if you didn't already know. And yes, this is Gundam Top Gun, pretty much. Double O Eighty War in the Pocket is a story in the Universal Century that follows the experiences of an 11 year old boy named Al during the One Year War. Now, despite its meager episode kind of six, it's a deceptively deep story, and it's a story that hits hard. It deals with the more personal and terrible aspects of war. War in the Pocket shows us the true cost of war, what it does to people, what it does to the world. Despite not being directed by Gundam creator Yoshiyuki, Yoshiyuki Tomino, excuse me, 0080 gets his message through with a loud megaphone. War is hell. Now, while Al is the main star of the show, we do get to see glimpses of Xeon pilot Bernie every now and then, which shows us that he is a human and not a machine. War in the Pocket has some pretty brutal scenes, and it realistically portrays war for what it is in real life, leaving tragedy in its wake. There are very heavy philosophical undertones in the series, but I'll leave that up to you on your viewing to decipher. Gundam Unicorn is one of those series that is infinitely better if you've seen all the previous Universal Century Gundam works. The best way to describe Gundam Unicorn is as a fitting bookend to the epic Federation vs. Zeon and Amuro vs. Shar conflict. It ties up many loose ends and introduces some great characters such as Banajer Lynx and Marita Cruz along the way. The Gundam Unicorn OVA series has since been remade slash recut into an anime series, but I'd recommend the OVA over the anime series any day, with each episode being an hour long and the final 7th episode being an hour and 40 minutes, you're in for a true spectacle. The animation of this series is nothing short of gorgeous. Everything from characters to mobile suits are delivered in captivating cinema quality animation. The grand musical score for this series invokes great emotion as well.
Gundam the 8th MS Team is an anime that I can comfortably recommend to both Gundam fans and general anime fans alike. It's not just an excellent Gundam series, it's an amazing anime in its own right. A big reason why I place this OVA over the others is because of its standalone nature. You don't need knowledge of other Gundam series to enjoy this series to its fullest. It does this and still stays true to what a Gundam series should be as well. One neat aspect of the 8th MS team is that it follows the daily struggles and battles of regular soldiers, not new types. So, no mentally controlled funnels, no telepathic communication, and no superhuman reaction speeds. This series is just about the regular Joes. This adds a sort of relativity to the story, relativity, excuse me, to the story and characters that one might not have with any of the other main anime series. Mobile suit battles are not any less chaotic and enjoyable, however. The 8th MS team boasts some of the best mobile suit battles in the entire franchise with great animation to boot. Likeable characters and a story grounded in reality make this an OVA series that will be remembered for years. So don't waste time. Get into that Gundam and watch it now. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or if you're ready to see more of this type of content, please do subscribe. I look forward to making videos for you guys in the future.